Welcome to the short video on how to use the Fluke 835 following the four simple steps. When ready to start the alignment, take out the quick reference guide and follow the steps. Step one is to mount the 835 units onto the belt pulleys. Step two is to turn on the 835 and see the green laser reflected back. Step three is to take measurements while making life corrections to the motor feet. Step four is to validate that the belt alignment is completed with the 835. Now let's quickly walk through each of these four simple steps. Step one from the quick reference guide. First, ensure the machine to be aligned is isolated and tagged out from the mains power. Remove the covers protecting the pulleys and belts in order to mount the 835 units. Here we see a machine that is ready for the alignment correction. Remove the cover plate from the magnets by sliding the plate off. Due to the powerful magnets on the units, Mounting on almost any pulley face is easy. Mount the units on the faces of the pulleys to be aligned. The reflector should be mounted onto the machine to be moved, while the laser transmitter is mounted on the stationary machine. Under normal circumstances, the movable machine is usually the smallest mass, in most cases, the motor. Step two from the quick reference guide. In step one, we mounted the 835 units, now we will power on the 835. Here we see a machine with the 835 units mounted on the pulleys. Press the button on the laser unit to turn on the 835. See the green laser on the reflector unit. Then see the green laser reflected back onto the laser transmitter unit. Step three from the quick reference guide. Corrections are performed live by moving the motor vertically with shims and horizontally with pullers. The misalignment to be checked includes vertical angularity, horizontal angularity, and offset. The transmitted laser line on the reflector unit indicates both the vertical angularity and the offset. Horizontal angularity is indicated by the reflected laser line on the transmitter unit. Here we see a machine with the 835 units mounted with the green laser lines. First, the angular misalignment can be observed on the reflector unit during adjustment. Correct vertical angularity by shimming the movable machine. Second, the offset can be observed on the reflector unit during adjustment. Correct offset by adjusting the movable machine axially end to end. Third, horizontal angularity can be viewed on the laser transmitter unit during adjustment. Correct horizontal angularity by adjusting the movable machine laterally side to side. Step four from the quick reference guide. By following the simple steps, alignment of the belt drive should be quickly completed. However, as any one alignment condition is liable to affect the other alignment condition, repeat the three steps if necessary until the system is aligned. In the final step, validate good alignment. Laser lines harmonize with reference lines on both units. Also check proper belt tension. Here we see a machine with the 835 units mounted with the green laser lines reflected. Good alignment is achieved when the transmitted laser line and the corresponding reflected laser line harmonizes with the reference lines on the reflector and the laser transmitter units. Be sure to watch the other two short videos on the important steps needed before and after the alignment and why and when to use the Fluke 835 belt alignment tool.